today I am going to be fixing the tail stock on my Atlas lathe. I bought this old Atlas lathe on Facebook. Uh, the tail stock was sticking on it whenever you would turn it. And you can see deep grooves in the actual shaft. And it doesn't seem like it was oiled much when it was used. Um, the problem why it was sticking was in the clamp. This pulls down on the spindle to lock it. Well, this in here needs to be filed. There's a bunch of burrs on it and fixed. You can see it really right there. But first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hone this inside there with a um, brake cylinder hone. I'm going to use a little bit of WD-40 as my honing fluid. Normally a uh, honing oil is a little bit thicker than WD-40, but that's what I have. I'm just gonna polish this up with some 240 emery cloth. With the uh, WD-40, after you use the emery cloth, and then you WD-40 it, and use the same emery cloth, it really makes it very, very smooth. These giant industrial Q-tips are really nice having in the shop. You can get down in Q-ways, but they have a nice wooden stick. So I'm just going to clean this up with a file. So I got this all polished up and cleaned out. I'm just going to use some SAE30 or SAE30. Um, the actual manual calls for like just standard motor oil. I think it's because the lathe was built back in the uh, 40s. So they didn't have all these fancy different lubricants that we have now. So, this, uh, bigger angle goes down in there before the other one does.
last step as well. A quarter fits right in there. You want some bat to the bone pliers? These Knipex made in Germany. These things are a water pump pliers. And you can, these jaws are so hard they bite into to, uh, pipe nipple, nipples and stuff. And you can get as much torque as you need on them. Uh, I'm just using them here to tighten this up. This thing was already dinged up a bit before. These wrenches here are Craftsman Tappet wrenches. Really good wrenches to have. I like them for um, airline fittings and this kind of work. Because a thicker wrench, you'd really have a hard time getting in there. Honestly, one nut with some removable Loctite would work just fine. Like for work like this, perfect for these little thin wrenches. Before this thing would bind up on the lock. I'm actually just going to end up using blue removable Loctite for those jam nuts on the back. These Loctite sticks are really good. It's like a little glue stick so you don't make a mess. Before I could barely do that, well I actually couldn't, 
have to use two hands to crank it back and forth.